Hey, kitties! Get me going! Get me going! Or Tana, or I was about to say Tana Wanda for some reason. <laughs> That's what they do. They they sit there and, and they make fun of autistic people. That's what their whole friggin' uh, YouTube channel is about. And I don't want anything to do with it. Uh, somebody that is fat, diabetic, uh, autistic, what else? Uh, physically disabled. <laughs> won't allow you in there by yourself. Like if you go to Chuck E. Cheese by yourself, they'll kick you out. I just realized it. I've actually been out of jail for 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 a full month. Tommy why so? No, he's like I did not hit her. I did not! Dragonlord Frodo is a man who resides in Lovejoy, New York, a neighborhood of Buffalo, New York. He's a fat, unemployed, balding, convicted criminal who is known for sitting in his tidy whities ranting online. This is not home for me! Send me back to North Buffalo now! Now! Fuck! His only form of human interaction is either with police or his stream chat. This leads to him freaking out when he doesn't get comments he's expecting when he goes live because he's a total recluse otherwise, and he will just mold and complain and cry until people send him comments so he can feel like he's having an actual human interaction. Now we're going on the uh, one minute and 20 seconds, no cop. Yeah, well guess what? You kitties don't deserve any more fucking rants. Not until my gaming live stream numbers go up. That's all I really care about. Doing a gaming live stream and only got 21 comments. That is unacceptable! That is unacceptable! Because I am, I am not going to put up with this crap. I am not going to put up. Because guess what? This is your responsibility. You made me throw this. You did that mess on my floor. When 2020 rolled around, this man's mind completely snapped. He started tearing down mask posters in his apartment. Oh boy. <clears throat> Looks like I'm gonna go to jail again today. This should be good. Ooh, because I ripped down the signs uh, in the elevators and in the friggin' lobby that says that I have to wear a mask. And started to use a blow horn on his balcony to badger his neighbors. During this period, he had to bring his government welfare checks in person to get them cashed 
because he didn't have a bank account and he refused to get one. He's like, oh, let's just open up a bank account for 25. I'm like, no, I won't give the bank any of my money. This led him to having a massive freakout inside of Walmart, complaining and crying and yelling at all the employees, having to go to the customer service, oh, they can't cash it for him. And so he goes into the parking lot and just starts to have an absolute rage spree. I give up! Take the shit! I don't want it anymore! I don't want the, the, the $1,151. I'm done! Uh, uh, ah, 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 ah. A personal favorite stream of mine is when he went apartment shopping. All right, kitties. It's DLF here. And uh, we're going apartment hunting. This included visiting the prison he was sentenced to. One of the CEOs saw me. I'm not allowed to wave at my, my homies up there. Taking a crap in a restaurant's bathroom. Take out right there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Restrooms are for... That truly was a close call. Showing up late to the first showing and then complaining that the realtor or the landlord wasn't there. Okay. There's no one here. All right, this is ridiculous. Where is this guy? I tried calling the landlord. It's, he didn't answer. I mean, I'm not that late. Ow. I'll wait here till 12.07. Okay, it's 12.10. I'm gonna get going. Thinking that the second landlord was super sexy and even wanting to impregnate her, even though she was already pregnant. <laughs> Don't throw me out. Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Any questions? No, I'm all set. Thanks. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, that place was a friggin' dump. And then, to top it all off with a nice little whipped cream and cherry on top, he decides to go dumpster diving for food scraps. Oh, shit. Ah, a lot of yellow jackers over there. Hey, there's a doge. That must be someone's doge. He's done much more heinous acts than I can show, but one of which is threatening patrons at a metal music venue that he would frequent. I'm just, I, I, I said something out and relapsed, I was like, you know, you better fucking, you better watch yourself at this show at, at the funeral home. I think it was, I think I said that earlier that morning or something. Or it could have been like, the, the day before or some shit, I don't remember. But I said something like, you better watch yourself at this show. Like most horror cows that I've discussed, DLF has expressed less than satisfactory and downright abhorrent opinions about his pets. Stop asking me, because you know what? I'm not getting another cat. That's right, we're saying it now. I have no plans on getting a new cat. I, thought, I, I never liked them. I never liked cats. In fact, in fact, gravy, I didn't like gravy at all. In fact, I don't know if you kiddies noticed, but I used to the shit out of gravy for fun. That's how much I loved gravy. Like, I used to like to starve gravy for weeks and not give her food or water. Like I've actually had I've actually had thoughts about just throwing gravy outside in the middle of winter and just like forgetting about her. I don't give a shit. Long pillow. They just came with the couch. Because ow! That's another thing he does. Are you trying to tell me you don't have any money? Are you trying to tell me you don't have any money? 
I, 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 I have a cat that drilled a hole through my, through, through my uh, bed. No. I really, well, then you gotta live with it. I, my cat ate Janet's sweater. There's speculation that he's just memeing and doesn't mean any of these things, mostly based off of some other interactions that we've seen with him in public, interacting with cats and dogs, where he seems pretty cordial with them, even liking them, doing a little, you know, to come over to him. But. At the end of the day, based on further actions that we'll see later in this video, suffice to say, I'm pretty skeptical. Dragon Lord Frodo has an affinity for relating to and agreeing with Chris Chan. This includes an almost replica rant of wanting his videos taken off of the internet and screaming and raging and ranting and striking people in order to get them taken down. This does not even deserve a captain's log introduction because this is dead serious. The inside and outside tour I did a few months ago in my house, everyone here today, my mother and my father are angry at me. They're blaming me at me. It's my fault. I admit it. It's my fault. I want everything about my house off the internet. I'll send in detectives. I'll send in police. I'll send in everything in my power. So yeah, please get everything off of the internet now, 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 now. Curse the trolls. Peace to everybody else. All of my goddamn videos off of YouTube. Or I will be, fl I, I already flagged like 15 of his videos. Unfortunately, the laughter ends when DLF mentions that he is fine with the acts that Chris Chan did against his mother. You know, I, I kind of wanted to do a video with Chris Chan, with a collaboration, but now that he did whatever the fuck he did, I don't know. And, and you know what, to be honest, I, I don't know, to be honest, I really don't, uh, I, I don't really think what he did was that bad. Because I, I don't know, I feel like, if, if two people, if, I feel like, a, a, now, I, from what I understand, though, he was, like, raping the mother or whatever, but that's not cool. But, like, I'm, I'm in the mindset that if somebody that's a, a mother and somebody that's a son and they're, you know, of a everyone is of age and you know age and consent. I you know who am I to judge? He even went as far to say that if his own mother, his own mother, consented, he wouldn't have an issue doing the hoinky doink with her. Would you do mama's crunch? Uh, I don't know. I mean, if she was up for it and, you know, maybe, maybe, like, fucking high or something, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I, you know, give her a, give, give her a, a dick. I don't know, I don't know. While he never directly interacted with Chris Chan, he did have a semi-intimate relationship with Foodie Beauty, Chantal Marie. She was a mod in his chat and was frequently seen sending provocative messages to DLF. This includes saying that she wasn't built to be married, kind of ironic at this point, asking him to fart for her, and calling him a bad boy criminal. Ooh yeah, just a real bad boy. Just real freaking saucy. We'll get to the criminal aspect a little bit later in this video. But it suffice to say that DLF is dangerous towards women 
and minors. King Cobra JFS had a brief scuffle with DLF, which mostly consisted of each other calling each other, seeing who is the more pathetic one of the two. It, it's kind of like a child recess insult match. There's not a lot being contributed one way or another. All right, so it's come to my attention that this guy named uh, King Cobra JFS. And I said, I don't really, I don't really think about him. Like, I don't know who he is. Like, my parents are dead, okay? And I don't live with them. I live in my own apartment. I pay my own rent. Albeit it's a shitty apartment, but it's my apartment. He calls himself <laughs> Dragon Lord Frodo. Why is that funny? You think I was trying to be tough with that name? It's not supposed to be tough. I'm not tough. I'll admit it. I'm not tough. Okay. Um, this is what they're going to get. Or you say, that's what's up. Or you say, TWU. Okay. Do not mention him ever on this channel, okay? Then I won't have to block. Or you say, are you Jewish? That's what I block, okay? To this day, DLF does not want to hear TWU, which is most definitely not what is up. Dragon Lord Frodo has had multiple run-ins with the cops. His most prominent experiences are probably the ones that have sent him to jail. Most notably, he was arrested for stalking and pestering two women, with which his own intent was to get them to have sex with him, so he would go out to their trailer and pester and badger and annoy them to try and convince them that he's a real slam doink. He's a real good looking man that they should definitely give another chance to. All right, kitties, it's Dragon Lord Frodo. I'm straight out of jail. No more talking about those women, okay? Just, just no more, okay? No, no more talking about it. It was, it was stupid. It was a stupid act. It was a senseless act of stupidity that I did. And it's not something that I really want to go back to. Let's not, let's not, let's not talk about, you know, the plaintiffs. Okay? Just, just... Don't defend me, because I'm a piece of shit for doing what I did, okay? I, I, I was in jail 60 days for this shit. You know, I'm, I'm just depressed. I was talking about my charges, and I was just like, you know, I was just, pretty much I was just trying to get these girls to come over so I could get away. It, it went too far. Also gotten arrested at a later date on charges for contempt where he basically made a series of videos talking about how much he disliked the judge and how much they, he thought they were terrible and he hated them. And they basically used that as a point of contempt <laughs> against him. So he got another charge for that. They would not tell me what the criminal contempt charge was for. So I was like, all right. DLF goes on to discuss his trials and tribulations in jail. He was upset and tried to forego taking his diabetes medicine because, in my opinion, it made him feel embarrassed or uncomfortable. He kept saying, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to deal with that. And then he would go on and try and pretend like he was harming himself and that the medicines they were trying to give him, he was actually allergic to and he couldn't take them. He was basically the biggest baby in the entire jail. I was like, drop it. I don't want to talk about it. So he's like, oh, well, according to this, you're diabetic. I don't want to talk about it. Wall with my hand. And I was saying that I was banging my head against the wall. 
and I, and I was making like veil threats like oh this book looks like it looks like it can hold a lot of weight I was down there for maybe an hour or two and I must have heard Fina maybe 200 times which might have been the reason why he got placed in J block which housed all the predators in jail which he said he was confused why he would be placed there that's odd why would why would he instead of being placed in general pop with everybody else why would he be chosen and selected and put over there maybe we'll explore some of that reason a little bit later that's when i realized that j block is where they put all the weirdos or all that they put all the pedophiles i should say and i'm like well i'm not in there for that i'm not in here for this Upon being released from jail, DLF discussed calling and bailing out members from J Block. That's right, baby. These guys that he pretended and masqueraded as thinking that they were horrible people. Oh my goodness. These people, they did awful things. I just kept to myself. I just couldn't do anything like that. Yet he is treating them as being very friendly. He was very nice to them. He's even considering calling them, having them on a stream. Interesting point of view there, Michael. Not too sure about that. Because I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about doing the video chat with J-Block. No, they're, um... They're the Oreo, uh, brownies. I'm thinking about doing the, uh... The video chat with the guys on J-Block. J this leads to accusations of DLF being a child enthusiast, which mostly from my research kind of stems, at least the, the best piece of evidence stems from this Facebook post that he made that got circulated across a bunch of different family and buffalo circles that kind of outed Michael as being a creep to say the very least. So if a woman shows nothing but pics of her kids on Facebook, but it's not to make guys jerking to her feel like weirdos, then explain to me why she would have pics of only her kids. To clarify, no, I'm not jerking to kids. It's the opposite. For example, let's say I'm at the hospital and get some really hot nurse. I look at her name tag and make a mental note of her name. I get home and look up the nurse on Facebook to pleasure myself. However, all of her pics are either just of her kids or they are of her and her kids, but never any pics of her alone. Why is this? Is it because she knows guys whack to her? So she makes them uncomfortable by putting her kids in the pics? It's the only explanation I can think of. So if they and is the case, she is literally using her kids as a human shield. Wow. Wow, DLF, that what's your fascination? No, I'm not the kids aren't why. The kid I'm thinking of hot older women, guys. Come on. Figure that out. That shouldn't be too far fetched for you to understand. It is so creepy. He's he's really grotesque. He's really gross. He's even gotten in spats with YouTubers who have called him out in the past and has insinuated action against their work. He continues, I also want to focus on this criminal case I have against me. However, know that I am watching your videos you do about me and I am clipping out and screenshotting every single time you lie. Or someone in your chat lies about me and I will be uploading a compilation video soon once I get enough material. He even admitted to downloading CP by a faulty explanation that he was trying to download a movie. But oopsie whoopsies, it wasn't a movie. It was something bad. Whoopsies, DLF really messed up there. Oopsie whoopsies. I do not F kids. I do not watch CP. 
I watched CP once in my life like maybe 20 some years ago because I accidentally downloaded it from Kazaa thinking I was downloading Austin Powers Gold Member. Wait a second. Drive. The reason for the encrypted hard drive is because I bought it back when I was arrested over that broad at the bar and I was afraid someone would hack into my computer and delete my evidence against her so the encrypted hard drive cannot be hacked into. I don't know how true that is to be honest with you. I gotta look into the brand or whatever. But let's just let's just go with that. Alright. He continues. I've used it to store evidence on the lesbians and now I'm using it to store evidence on you. This creator went on to explain that at times the movie Austin Powers Gold Member has been used as a euphemism for CP. So maybe DLF picked up some new terminology when he was in prison and was really capable of searching out these things by being a, a bit more incognito, a little bit more under the radar. I don't think that's too far-fetched. In the end, DLF at the very least has poor behavior around women and has made some shocking comments about children. He likes to blame a lot of his issues on others, unsurprisingly, predominantly his family. Well, you know, my mom doesn't like me getting all high. But she should remember that she's the one that got me into that. His parents have given him everything in life, and all he can do to repay them is basically be a burden, and any time that he talks to them, he is just shouting at them, yelling at them for not understanding his life. You need to talk to the relocation people at social services. Because this is not, this is not happening. This is not, this is not worth it anymore. What's not happening? What set you off? I've been telling you this for years, okay? You do not let them go away! So all you want to do is laugh. Now, I need to get out of Buffalo. I need to get out of Buffalo. And you're going to help me. I told you how to do it. Well, I need to get out of here today. Oh, I can't help you today. That's not yet. Well, you could take yourself to Florida every week. There is a snowstorm coming tonight. Yeah, and guess what? The mail hasn't come yet today. There is an interesting Facebook post, which is allegedly from a family member, maybe his mother around when he got released from jail that basically went through and disputed a bunch of things that DLF Michael has been saying online. And I'm going to highlight some of the interesting parts for me. You can stop and look at other sections if you're so inclined. As for your butt plug, you told me that you had your Canadian money in the lockbox. Since the apartment was so gross and a mess, I truly thought that someone broke into your apartment. I was making sure that your money was still in the lockbox. It's not my fault that you keep your butt plug in there. And no, I use gloves to touch everything in your apartment. If your viewers think your drawers are gross, they should see the house. It smelled like old man and unwiped ass. And what kind of moron leaves the key on top of the box? And this is a big one. How dare you accuse me of stealing from you when you have in the past stolen thousands of dollars and items and even broke into my car? Do you remember when you broke into my safe in my house? Or when you emptied out my bank account while I was out of town? Look at the pot calling the kettle black. Wow. Talk about rewriting history. You have no right mentioning where anyone works or what they do for a living. Since you wait on the mailman twice a month for your support. This is pure jealousy. He works and you don't. You weren't raised that way. You were raised to be self-sufficient just in case your parents actually do die. As you know, we are not dead. Gigantic lie. 
which I want to interject here. Early on in his channel's career, he did like to say that his parents were dead, and it was mostly used as a coping mechanism whenever somebody, i.e. Cobra, would reference them. He would say, oh, they're dead. That's so messed up for you to say. You state that you were not privileged. You were afforded the best schools. You chose not to attend. You were provided the best technology. You decided to use it for this crap and not learning. You traveled and were spoiled rotten. You never worked for anything. You can't get a job because of these reasons, but not limited to this list. You steal from everyone and anyone. You have a toilet mouth. You have no skills or education. You're always in everyone's business. Your social media, if checked, shows you are in an are are in an excellent light. Not especially the filthy underwear, the filthy mouth and house. You are a horrible racist. You rewrite history on a daily basis, even hourly. For the love of God, put on some pants. The reason why you are in the apartment you are in now is because you were evicted from most, almost every apartment. Luckily, friends of your parents owned an apartment building and they gave you the place because you would have been homeless again. Yes, again. Remember having to live with the friars or on the streets? Your Lovejoy apartment. You were evicted because of these rants and your multiple meltdowns. The houses were very close together, and there were children that had to hear you with your filthy mouth and inappropriate comments for children's ears, or even an adult. No one wants to see your meltdowns or hear them. Your parents' idea of reality. Get a job, clean your house, take care of yourself. 300 pounds is way too much. Eat like a human, breathe between bites of food. Find a stable relationship in your friends and partners. Read a book. Get involved with your community. The more you let those crazy thoughts ramble around in your head, the crazier you will get. All this just to say that DLF is a lazy, ungrateful, degenerate leech who seeks personal validation over all else. Andy and Dragonlord Frodo are both manipulative, overweight man babies who refuse to get a job, get therapy, or take ownership for their actions. They both reside in Buffalo, New York, and have lengthy run-ins with the police, both including criminal records and fascinations with associating with children. They've proven to be a burden on their families and neighbors, yet hold belief that they are constantly right and they are actually the victims. They have a fascination with diaper-like coverings and convince themselves of ailments that don't exist. I'm, I'm actually more in tune with everything else than most people. I don't lie to people. I don't lie to people. Why do you think I sit around in my underwear? Because I'm being true, okay? I'm not being a fake. I'm not going to sit there and, and, you know, wear something that I don't want to wear for a video. So, so I put on underwear. It's the next best thing. Instead, I, I, I decided to just run away. I, I, I didn't want to hear it. I wanted... I wanted to piss everyone off. They document and upload hours upon hours of mindless ramble content. They waste time of public services and companies with their incessant whining. I can't take this anymore. This, this is an inconvenience by a long shot. Actually, and why, why am I even, why am I even... Uh, why am I even paying shipping when I have to go pick it up anyway? So you don't have it there? We definitely do not. Okay, alright, um, thanks. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you do open the express or not. Say that again? Do you know if it's ground or express? I don't know. I'm tired of this! I'm tired of this! 
including wanting these services or employees to be shut down or fired, respectively. They can never get certain parts of my information right. I don't know what it is over at Niagara County or, you know, the Niagara County Sheriff's Department. Whoever is doing their data entry needs to be fired. I am not 505 Elmwood. I'm Elm, Elm, Elm Wood Avenue. And it's not 5C, it's 9C. Let's go, let's, uh, uh, you know what, you know what, charity starts at home? Let's get rid of Niagara County Sheriff's then. How about that? Fine. Easy, easy, done, over with. Next, get rid of all the sex offender units. Get rid of all the drug units. Get rid of all the domestic violence units. I don't believe it's far-fetched to compare DLF to Andy. In fact, I think the comparisons are a little bit too close for comfort. Today you can find DLF rambling for hours on end over on Rumble. Un unfiltered raw videos. And then maybe, maybe, <coughs> maybe I will consider bringing back the videos. But it's not going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be on YouTube anymore. I didn't flag the videos to be a dick, okay? I flagged them because I don't want them on YouTube. It's not to say, not to say I don't want them around ever. I just don't want them on YouTube. There, you can also find my archive channel for all long-form documentaries in case they ever get taken down from here. Buffalo seems to be haunted by some sort of ancient curse that brews and foments these type of people. Who knows, maybe another villain could sprout up soon. I want to thank everybody for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I'm not even going to use the word kitties because I don't like the word kitties anymore. Uh, no, uh, no one's my kitty anymore.